What is up, my people? Obviously, you guys aren't expecting a podcast episode here today during the middle of the week, but I figured let's try to do something new. This will be kind of the aboutcast off the top episode or section of our podcast where we kind of just sling it from the dome, just keep glassing it and all that fun stuff talking about the trending topics of today. I'm going to hit three of them today and these ones are going to be kind of the spicier things that are going on in the world or pop culture and so those are going to be AOC and Ilhan Omar chilling out on Twitch, playing Among Us, GM's new electric vehicle that they're coming out for the Hummer and then the protests in Nigeria. So hopping right into it, essentially recently AOC, so Alexandria or Casio Cortez and Ilhan Omar were caught chilling on Twitch, just playing video games. It was actually a really interesting thing to see. Viewers on that, I think, topped out at 435,000, which is a really interesting at, like aspect and take for you know modern interaction with crowds and people, especially how they have to do that as political figures. I think it's actually one of the ways that they can perfectly find the niches of society that don't necessarily have the strongest take on certain politics or haven't developed their full mind yet on actual political figures and political concepts as the like being that Twitch and video games or more of a younger man's crowd or younger people's crowd for sure. So it's really cool. And also I think that it's, we're coming to this diversion where we see celebrities and public figures so often, not obviously in person, but we see them on the news and interactions with other people or articles and whatnot, where we have this changing relationship where we see them more as human beings. And that type of connection and feelings or emotions towards them is actually perfectly played on by playing Twitch. That was a lot of peas in a row. And I think that it means that we should be seeing more of that. And of course, this isn't the first time we've seen this. Bernie Sanders hopped on Twitch. Drake's hopped on Twitch. Other people have hopped on, did a little foray, and then hopped off. But I think what it does is it really helps garner, lift up, and grow the support from other people, knowing that you're a human being at the day, and also making connections where you might not normally in your day-to-day campaigning. So hopping onto the Hummer take or the GM take, essentially GM made a Hummer for an electric vehicle. And I think what this is, is one of those plays of new nostalgia. So essentially uh, we've seen it quite a lot. So Disney with uh, Mulan, Lion King, so on of in other places of a company bringing back something that we've always loved or was iconic back in a certain period and bringing a twist to it. So number one, good take on GM for kind of, you know, responding to the times and being uh, relatively forward thinking as as far as ideas. There's been a lot of legislation and push, public push and interest to start making vehicles more electric than uh, fossil fuels. Um, So it makes sense why they would push out a new vehicle or bring back a new vehicle and have that twist to it, especially one which I think is a little ironic being that Hummers were never synonymous with being easy on the environment. So uh, it'll be interesting to see kind of the overlap of demographics from there. But essentially what we have in this thing is uh, a really solid machine as far as electric vehicles go. 350 miles plus of range. It has cool features as far as um, obviously some sort of autonomous driving. Um, You also have, uh, you know, a big enough vehicle to tow things. It can off road with variable suspension. And it also does a lot of cool other things. So it has like a crab walk where the wheels can point two different directions and kind of slide horizontally, especially if you were in a tighter spot in the off road section. So I think, you know, good for GM doing that. I'm really curious to see how it actually gets perceived or um, welcomed by the environment, being that the demographic that GM is hitting is kind of not necessarily, I would say, very, very pro of electric vehicles. So we're talking about people that have heavy duty trucks in the first place and so on that might be more 
uh, reluctant to hop on to an electric vehicle when they've been so notorious for kind of diesel and other trucks of that nature. One other thing too is GM didn't miss the opportunity to throw some shade at Tesla saying that they have the first heavy duty pickup truck that is electric ever. Throwing shade at Tesla's Cybertruck that is yet to be released. So moving on to the Nigerian protest, a little bit more of a somber note. Essentially what's happening there is the unrest has um, peaked and recently if you look it up on the news there's been 20 casualties and those casualties came from a protest and um, the people that were killed were killed by the Nigerian army and of course there's a whole bunch of he said she said Nigerian army saying no we didn't we didn't even have um, soldiers there which is funny because there's videotapes of people in military garb and the government's also um, you know, standing with the military saying, yeah, there was no such, th no casualties there. People got hurt, but he got killed. So um, bringing it back, taking one step back and why there was actually protests. So one, there was protests on, um, there was a full 24 hour curfew set by the Nigerian government for people. And this is based off of um, the unrest and complaints with SARS. And so that's a special group of the Nigerian military that essentially is for anti-robbery. And the reason that the public and the community, um, and this happens in Lagos, but it could happen all over the place, uh, the protests did, but essentially this SARS unit has been torture and murder people, so absolutely unacceptable by the Nigerian government. Hopefully there's a positive resolution to these pro protests and it comes soon. But essentially that's where we're at. Uh, you know, and I'll keep you updated on anything that kind of pops up with this. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. The Nigerian government to act right and people aren't being tortured. And so essentially wanted to make this short, punchy and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll try to work this in a little bit more often, uh, you know, doing kind of the trends of the week and stuff like that as we go along. Um, keeping it short. Anyway, I'll see you next time and peace.